touch this fossil and you reach through an unfathomable amount of time. It's rather nice if you like that sort of thing, isn't it? <laughs> That's good. He's a bit near the surface. This is it, isn't it, in terms of a so mud fill? He's a lovely thick one, so you'd be wanting to do him from the other side. Yeah, if you turn it over, Chris, it's quite heavy, quite a mass, isn't it? But um, if you have a look at the other side, it's got more of a bump there. That's a lot more, yeah. That's, that looks That's a bit more... That's the side uh, to do him from. It just be... It's Chris. The museum education officer looking at the woodstone yeah, nodule. So you can see him on there. So you could see even before you split him, you can just see the top of the ribs. Yeah, was thinking, that, that well, wasn't evident when I first. Yeah, so a lot of them you get the body chamber, the lovely muddy mud bit, and then as soon as you're here, and Squashed. down it goes. And there is a bit of a dip, yeah. but it's not absolutely collapsed in. So I think what, we're in with what, a sport. What chance do you give me? Over 50, I would Yay! Say. <laughs> like, I have Chris in as the, uh, when we, as the education when officer. We, well, when we see um, Mike and Brandon on, on the beach, this is the Brandon Lennon. Not <laughs> it, yeah, and he is a real is genuine a mortal. Up. He actually comes out on the beach. Too big a build up, Chris. Yeah. Well, he is a way, it'll be a good video. I've got the uh, old geological hammer of Dad's coming off nice and crisply. I'm going to have to sacrifice one of those. Ammonites there. I hope it's not the big get that one. Off in a piece. Little one's coming out. You could do this all in one piece, it's just to build up the tension. <laughs> I don't like to. This put is purely too big marketing. A, too big a thing to it. Yeah, because you're more likely to break it, of course. It, and yeah. You did suggest you could cut this and do it more carefully. You did. Oh, he's, you tell me now. He's carefully Chris. sectioned that one to show the internal structure. <laughs> Just hit my hand a few times, that's all. Oh, God, it's such a crisp rock. I think mean, it's a What well, if you get a nice square edge, it'll probably just simply pop around them. You, you save yourself a lot of time. Just need an angle on it here. Being able to cut the film up later. <laughs> <laughs> if it breaks straight through the middle, you will never see this video. <laughs> <laughs> All of these apocryphal words. <laughs> so if I ought to be saying how brilliant it'll be, because if it goes badly, you'll never see it. As you can see, care of tools is important. You wouldn't use a chisel with bird edges where bits could come off, and it wouldn't be rusty to be cleaned off to get the salt off it at the end of every trip. Chris, I've got my safety glasses on. <laughs> he, he's done good. Well, at least I'm getting there. Yeah, well, it, it is the same nodule. He hasn't had to add super glue in the, in the interim. You can see sometimes, you can't actually see it on this one, sometimes you can see on the bedding, you can see where it's curved over the top of the ammonite, but you're not seeing it as much on this one. This is all to, in, to save a lot of penning work to take the top off it. Or if it goes badly, to save all the penning work. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Very good. Actually, look, I wonder if I could get a bit of a tap off the top. Sometimes that just reveals the bump. actually getting quite awkward all there with the mm. rock look at it you don't have a nice flat edge no to... the, the rocks can get confused because yeah. of the big ammonite and that you've in got there. yeah the curve on the, yeah. on the bedding face you never know <laughs> just think how impressive it would be if it pops a prom oh, did i get prom? Prom. Yay. <laughs> oh x-prom uh -uh. <laughs> oh no you've got a bit of an imprint of the prom oh no he's all white <laughs> You've got at least three quid there. I've probably got five <laughs> or six there, actually. Put a base on it. You've got a nice bomb. That, it would be nice next to the ammonite if you don't kill it. Yeah, that's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah. That's a good sized one. I thought there was the edge of something, but it's just rust off the chisel. <laughs> The 
first tall ammonite. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh Try and work it. Lose that so you can hear Well, boys, it's health and safety nightmare. Now have it or not. I'll film you again afterwards. You can still People normally don't say they can't hear me. There's a lot of them over there. Yep. Chris, he's just come in to see this big ammonite that I'm preparing. Chris has been doing some cutting and polishing, and uh, hence the uh, <laughs> hence the, the overall ensemble. Yeah, sort of saw him up there. He's got his uh, breathing apparatus now. I've got my eye goggles, so uh, let's see how we go with this big ammonite. It's looking, it's pretty, looking uh, large. Pretty large. I'm, I'm looking at the curve and thinking. The curve there, thinking. Ooh. If it's tilting in a bit. I mean, the quality of preservation is nice, and I hear those little white marks will polish out easily. I, that's I, I, the form, that's what we want. <laughs> <laughs> that looks a bit like the mouth border up there. <laughs> I'm going to take this big rock and cut it down with a diamond saw using a big diamond saw to block that piece of limestone right down and Chris is using a small trim saw here and this little diamond saw he's using in a highly concentrated fashion to get the little ammonites cut right through the middle and I've done a lapidary course in this work that took me two years to learn how to do the work safely. The moment is true. Oh, that's better. The nice calcite there. Ah, uh, a bit of calcite in it. He's broken. It's like when you cut a piece of wood. He's broken on that very edge. But a little bit when he's being wet and dried, that'll get. Chris is cutting pile on his illminsters that he's been slicing through and while he's not around I might just quickly uh, polish up one so that when he comes out you'll wonder why it's not polished up. Quite a selection in there. That's quite a nice centre there. Okay. <laughs> Problems with not having enough surfaces. <laughs> the, uh, so just turn the water on there. Yeah, uh, just on that golden thing at the top, just give oh. that a twist. Sorry, that band slipped over a little bit, but. Oh, that's quite a nice one. Yeah, that's quite a nice one.
had to get all the saw marks out. There's a fossil that I've polished. All the rest are still to do for Chris at the museum. He's going to be doing some of this work during the July holidays and August holidays for the kids, doing some fossil polishing down at the museum. So quite a bit of work there entailed. Oh, he got a better one in there, didn't he? That, I think that's part of his nautilus. Do you think you've got enough for the museum polishing days? I'll cut you in if you want. It's not bad, is it? Where's your really good one in there, Chris? <laughs> That's not too bad, is it, on the oh, old? Yeah. Cut with a small trim saw. Yeah. Here's Chris, having done all that having done all lapidary that, work. The tray. <laughs> Excellent. And look in your tray here, Chris. Look, open up that there and have a look underneath. Oh, there's now, many others. Notice the odd one out in there. Can you see in there? See if you can spot the difference between well, that's one a, of them. I know you got your Nautilus in there. That's that's, a, that's, that's anything that you spot that's slightly different. That a meal the Nautilus? No. Keep looking. Something I've done since you've been cutting away. It's a, it's a smaller ammonite in there, and I'm heading towards the camera. Pointing. Oh good, you polished one, <laughs> ah. Sorry, I was seeing the shape and I wasn't saying yes, one you've polished. You've done that on the left, I take it. Ah, uh, you're the... doing it on Lizzie's um, expanding drums there. Ah, that's what I thought, yeah. Where's the fun in that, where you could spend hours with wet and dry? <laughs> <laughs> that's what Chris is going to be doing at the museum on at Saturday weekends. On and Sunday, in the afternoon. And you have seen them in their raw stage. And a few we haven't finished. Out. To remind you to do them next time. It's good to have cut that big ammonite down from that large block that it was in. And now I've got a little square block with the ammonite in. And I'm going to just take off some of the limestone from around the edges of the ammonite. Hopefully I'll pop more of the ammonite out of the rock, but it's not doing really what I wanted to do. It's quite hard work, this particular stone, and I hopefully will get back to some air scribe work and then some air abrasive work to get right down to the middle of the fossil specimen. It's a lot of concentrated work. I expect to be doing this for quite a few hours. I'm noticing too, as I'm going down, tapping bits of rock away from the Asteroceros ammonite, that there is some of the natural shell still left on the center of the ammonite. So I'm going to keep that on as I prepare away this fossil. And it's going to take quite a bit of work, but this is a bit of the sped up version using the hammer. I wouldn't normally do this, but uh, it's looking likely that I need to get right near to the ammonite center to do the work with the air abrasive.
changing color a bit there. So it might not be very good. I think it's pretty crust. Very crust. It's going out of the rock there. Well, this really was a lot of hard fossil preparation work for me. I'm really happy to have been able to use Lizzie Hingley's workshop of all the tools. And you can see it's prepared down toward the middle, but not all of the middle has come out of that big Asteroceros specimen. And thank you very much for watching. And I hope you liked the prehistoric scene I made with the ammonite here at the end of the video. It's been a three part series and the little ammonite you can see there is called Promicrocerus. It washed up against the big entity there. And ammonites these days are getting smaller and smaller it seems on the beaches. You find smaller and smaller ammonites just like the mackerel, they seem to be getting smaller as well. I hope you enjoyed this big ammonite fossil preparation video and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the film. And also too, please don't forget to comment down below.